Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Sanity, and this is my guide for how to, and where to collect all the chests in Inazuma. I decided to split this series into lots smaller episodes just so it's easier to, to digest. It's not only because of difficulty to edit uh, a super long video and the file size, and also I think it's much easier for you to follow through 10 minute videos uh, instead of 50 minute videos. And about 350 chests in Inazuma alone, that would be a tremendous effort going through one video and try to track him down and it will not be an easy task. And before we start, uh, another thing is I will be updating um, Li Yue and Mondstadt's chest collection video every single chest I could find after I finish Inazuma's. But here it is, I'm doing Inazuma's a chest collection guide first and we start off on the Narukami Island side. First of all, then you want to go towards Ruto Island and then later I will show you where the maps of the chest I have mapped are. Now we we'll go for the first and second chest starting at Ruto Island Statue of the Seven, then use your ship to head towards the center island. Uh, do not go towards the later island, there's nothing on there other than Electroclist. If you're interested in collecting, uh, collecting Electroclist, I have video guides for that in my channel. And also, for those locked chests uh, in the video, I will not be able to collect them since this account um, I cannot get any of those keys. And the method of getting these keys is either by um, increasing your Sacred Sacred Tree level, uh, level up your Statue of the Seven in Inazuma, or completing story quest that gives you one, in total of six that you need to uh, obtain in this version. Beware there are four chests that you need to complete the Sacred Sacred Tree mission in order to get on this episode, and obtaining Mementos Lens which is essential for the puzzling on this island. Here I'll showcase a map uh, for this episode the chest we'll be collecting. It's quite um, packed so be sure to keep your eyes on where I'm going constantly to make sure you can get all the chests. And as, as long as you follow the procedures where I'm going, you should not be able to miss any of the chests in this video. Here's the third chest after you defeated the enemies. After you grab your third chest, then you want to head towards this electro flower station here. Grab the flower, immediately jump down the hill, do not use it to teleport. And here is a little locked barrier, once you go inside, it's your fourth chest. Once you grab your fourth chest, come out and head towards the west side. And then you will see enemies guarding a massive chest. Uh, once you clear them out over there, then there's your fifth chest. After the fifth chest, immediately you turn towards the south side and keep swimming. And you'll see a hiller chest down to dig something. And there's your next chest. That's the sixth chest, just by that uh, abandoned ship. And then keep going south side, you'll see um, people guarding this chest, and then here's your 7th chest. After you have grabbed this chest, you want to immediately climb up from this tent. Then here is another barrier, once you grab uh, one of the electro flowers and get inside, and there's your next chest. Should be the 8th chest. And now we need to be able to access the chest down here, down from the well, as long as you have completed the mission uh, for the Sacred Soccer Tree, I bet you have uh, gained most of these chests, but the first chest, once you come down, is here. And then, after this chest, in, on your way towards the next section underneath the well, you will see a electric city. And then, once you follow it uh, enough, of enough times, then the next normal chest will spawn, but do not just, just immediately grab it before you go down, you want to grab the chest just across the platform here. This should be your 9th chest. Then immediately come down and then grab the chest you just followed with the silly before. And remember to grab Electro Flower before you come down, then you can use it to enter the barrier down here. Once you have completed your mission or you have already completed the Sacred, uh, sacred Tree Cleansing, then you want to come up towards the right side of the barrier. Then enter this locked room, and there's a lot of stuff you need to collect in here, uh, including first of all this luxurious chest. Uh, well, you, you couldn't miss this one if you have completed the mission. And then in here is also a locked door key, and also for the farmer's treasure mission's first stone plate. If you have not collected, um, do not worry about it. That only rewards you eventually with one normal chest, so it's not really four chests. But once you grab that, immediately come back the way you have came. Uh, you probably will remember this room if you have got electroclist before, but you want to climb up this wall, here's your next chest. Once you have grabbed the chest, then you can exit it 
uh, exit this room from this way. And then immediately after you come out with these treasure holders, you want to come to the left side where you fight them. And then keep following the wall. Then you should discover a chest hidden just behind there. Then after grabbing that chest, you want to immediately use the flower to help you get across this little bit, starting to reach for this island. And then there's your next two chests. Uh, first of all, the first one is just right in front of you and once you defeat uh, enough slimes um, around the area that's guarding the chest, then you'll be able to unlock it. And as soon as that, you want to start following the electric city that you just triggered, then by following it, it will lead you to your next chest. Uh, where your next chest is, there will be also a few healer shells. You do not need to kill them, but it's up to you. Now you want to go towards the northwest side and keep following uh, the side of the island. Then you should see a hello gel camp towards your left side. And then they are also guarding a chest. After you defeat them, they will be your next chest. Then immediately after that, you want to go back towards the island back here. You want to grab the electric, electric tree uh, so you will be able to access the boat. Then place the boat right underneath this time trial to make sure you have enough time for the trial. Then go back up to activate the trial, then grab your ship, then head towards the um, finishing location. All right, so now, when you are here, you need to destroy all the parts. Well, not all the parts on this island, but probably 90% or majority of the parts you can find on this island. Then it will spawn an enemy. After you defeat the enemy, then it will give you a luxurious chest on this island. Uh, and my method is you just follow where that electric city that you just saw um, is at. You want to follow it following its route, then destroy all the pot it connects, then and the pot in the area of its route. Then eventually you have uh, destroyed enough pot, then an enemy will spawn about right in front of my car right here. And then uh, after defeating him, the luxurious chest should spawn right on this tiny hill here. Continuing following that electric city, um, you keep going with it it's quite a long journey but try to do what i mentioned earlier destroy all the pot along the way then you'll be rewarded uh, later on with that luxurious chest along with the normal chest this electric facility provides Here you have successfully got the chest and now let's head back towards the location I was saying that an enemy will spawn. Uh, by this point, if you have destroyed enough pot, then the enemy should spawn in the center location of the island. Right here, after grabbing the luxurious chest, you want to teleport your way back to the condo village. After you have reached the Kondo village, you want to head towards the north side and along the path you should see two hero shells off to the side by this puzzle piece. After defeating these two um, hero shells and solving the puzzle, you will be rewarded with one more chest. Now head towards the north side and follow where the river uh, and the ocean meets. Then. Eventually you will see the stone pile and hit it with any pyro skills will re reveal it and revealing a chest. After collecting it, now you want to head your way towards the Condor village and following the riverside. And as long as you follow the riverside, you should see this samurai or ronin. Then as long as you defeat him and solve the puzzle, there's your next chest. After that chest, then you want to head towards the Condor village where you came from, then go past the teleportation waypoint and keep going the, north, uh, the south side, then you should see enemies guarding this chest. <laughs> Don't do what I did here, I kept pressing the cook button by that stove. Then after collecting that chest, then you want to head your way towards the east side. Toward the east side, you want to switch a uh, 
archer character because there's a shooting challenge. Uh, then you want to destroy all four exploding barrels and then your next chest will spawn right here. Now we climb up the wall towards the right and turn left side right here that is the next puzzle you want to solve. It's another simple one as long as you turn all of them facing the right the same way then a chest will spawn. Then right after that you want to head towards uh, the same direction we were aiming at towards the south side. A enemy camp uh, with Hillichels and Mr. Chow is guarding this chest. Defeat them, grab your chest and now we work our way backward towards where we came from towards the north side before um, we climb, it's about right where we climb up the wall but instead of turning left side on the right side underneath this tree uh, as soon as you approach it three slimes appears and you kill them and you got your chest there just as it has shown now we work towards the center part of this bit and then you see a large group of enemy guarding it defeating them get you that luxurious chest now after grabbing that luxurious chest now we want to work our way towards the teleportation waypoint direction that we haven't I haven't unlocked but if you come towards this direction you see this large stone pillar where you can also get a electroculus this is one of the five enemies that's named in in Azuma which is really important later on also leads to a, a extra chest extra hidden chest and it's not mission related it's more of a hidden mission but defeating him gets you a precious chest I do believe and then after collecting this precious chest you want to head towards the north side then heading towards the north side you should naturally see this barrier in front of you and the electric silly around the area by following it you need a electro flower to be able to enter the barrier because it will lead you into the barrier once and then after uh, has you have touched it one more time then it should lead you towards the northwest side and when you reach this uh, tree stomp then your next chest will spawn. Now you want to work your way towards the south side following the coastline of the Narakami Island. Then you see treasure hoarders um, guarding this chest. After you clear them out, this is the last chest that we will be collecting in this video. Up to so far, it should be totally of 32 chests. And I'll see you in the next episode.